Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to create a very simple pause menu. So I've created three sprites, the sprite background, as you can see, and uh, this will be where the buttons will appear. Then I've centered it and by the way it is 640 by 480. This is the room width and height, as you can see here. If your room is a thousand by a thousand, here you'll need to put a thousand by a thousand. You can do this simply by going to edit sprite, transform, stretch and put here a thousand and here a thousand. Otherwise it will look very very ugly if you don't do this right. Then I've centered it and the two buttons I created was the continue button. When the mouse is off, off the hitbox, it shows like this. If the mouse enters the hitbox, it shows like this. I've also centered it. Then on the sprite exit, I did exit. I did exactly the same that I did here on this one. Then on the objects, I've got my OBJ pause. So when the OBJ is created, I've got some codes that all instances will be destroyed except this one. This means that all instances destroyed. No, deactivated. I mean, I'm sorry. So this means that all instances will be stopped where they are. And if this is true, this object, in this case OBJ Pulse, will not be deactivated. And if this is false, it will be deactivated. So I've also created two instances, the two buttons in this case. Here, minus 30 means up. Never forget that GameMaker minus is up and plus is down. Minus so this OBJ is on the upside and minus and plus here so that this OBJ is on the downside. Uh, don't forget to add the instance activate object, otherwise these two buttons will be deactivated and will not show up. Don't, don't forget this. Then, when the user presses escape, if some co something will happen. In this case, the instance will be destroyed, the OBJ pause, the pause menu. Uh, will activate all instances and uh, this means that it's like putting this code inside of the object itself it's just easier to do it so it will destroy the obj continue and here will destroy the obj exit otherwise they will appear in the middle of the screen then on the obj continue i've got my create event image index equals zero and image speed equals zero otherwise they will the um, the sprite will be flashing uh, as you can see here but we want it off if the mouse is off and on if the mouse is in. So when you left press this button, the instance will be destroyed with OBJ pause like I told you before. It will be also destroyed and OBJ exit will be destroyed and all instances will be activated. It's practically the same as here, press escape. Then if the mouse enters the hitbox like I told you here, if the mouse enters, the sprite index will be like this, it will be light up. Here I can see 1, but the speed is also 0, so otherwise it will start flashing. And if the mouse, is leave, if the mouse leaves the hitbox, it will be 0, it will turn off, as you can see. Mouse enters, on. Mouse leaves, in. Uh, I mean off. So, here it is. Uh, depth minus 1, otherwise it will show up behind the OVJ pause, and we don't want that. The OBJ exit is practically the same uh, image index and image speed. When the except here, when you left press, the instance will be destroyed, OBJ pause destroyed, OBJ continue destroyed, but the game ends because object exits. It, you can change this to game end or simply to go to another room. You your choice. In this case, it can go back to the main menu. I don't know your choice. And um, the same here, mouse enters and here mouse leaves. And the uh, depth minus one. Also, if you uh, if you want these sprites and this object, it is, uh, I'll put a link over here. It is on the previous tutorial I did, the platform one, but you probably won't that, will, will not want this, but if you do, here's the link. Uh, now, on the OBJ player, when you press escape or another key, Something will happen, in this case, the instance will be created in the middle of the room, the view, uh, OBJ pause will create the pause, if you press escape. Then, on the room, you don't need to place anything, because they will be created when you press escape, 
and this is it let's test it out and see if it works uh, also guys don't forget one little thing that is that if you change the view or something you need to change the here the code not here sorry here oops here you need to change this for, for example view one you need to change to the view you want so let's test it out as you can see i can jump i can walk and if i jump from here and press escape a pause menu shows up the exit button as you can see it lights up and the continue one if i press continue it will continue as if, if, I, if i press escape it will show up again and if i press escape again it will leave it's very simple and if you press exit it will leave the game it is a very very simple uh, pause menu but and you can uh, edit it very easy you can have an options button almost anything if you have any questions or need help with something post it in the comments or message me i will try to help you the best as i can leave a like if i helped you or if you enjoyed this video subscribe for more videos and bye